Many women experience clogged milk ducts at some point if they breastfeed for a while, and it's caused by ineffective emptying of the breast. And so you might notice like a, a hard, tender spot on one side or the other. And if you start to notice this, the worst thing you can do is stop nursing. What you need to do is nurse or pump more frequently, at least every two to three hours during the day. Now you mentioned that when your baby when your baby nurses, you don't notice any problems, but when you use a pump, when you're away from your baby, that's when it seems to happen. And this is a common problem because babies are the most effective sucker and pumps really can't match your, ba your baby's ability to suck. And not all pumps are created equal. So there are some that aren't nearly as strong and might not effectively empty the breast and so you're left with clogged ducts. So it would be best if you can somehow obtain a hospital grade pump and see if that makes a difference. Um, if you, uh, there's a lactation clinic in Orem and there's also one at Primary Children's. If you're near either of those sites, you can contact them and rent a pump from them. If you don't live um, near either of those sites, you can call the hospital you delivered at and see if they arrange um, pump rentals and this can help you a lot. In addition to using a more effective pump, there's a few other things you can try. Before nursing or pumping, you can put a hot compress over the affected side or get in the shower if you're home with your baby. And if possible, do nurse your baby if you've noticed a clogged duct and point your baby's chin and nose towards the affected area. And this will make it so your baby's sucking that area a little bit with a little more strength than other areas. And that will help get it um, broken up and unclogged. Now, clogged ducts can lead to mastitis, which is a breast infection. So if you start to notice that you have a fever or feel sick, contact your doctor because it will require treatment at that point. You can also try massaging the area if you don't have a hot compress available or something. Just massage the hot, tender spot and see if that helps unclog it before you start to nurse or pump. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.